This is Shark Tank, a reality show where every season, dozens of entrepreneurs have the chance to showcase their ideas to a group of successful investors, creating an opportunity for the investors, known as sharks, to inject capital into ventures they deem promising. If you've watched the series, you know that all sorts of ideas come up, from packages with three socks for when you lose one, to manly scented candles with fragrances like beer, barbecue, golf course, and other less pleasant things. However, the program offers an excellent opportunity for any entrepreneur, even if they don't secure an investment. The mere participation of a venture in the reality show is enough to bring a series of benefits that many companies spend years striving for. It's a chance to promote their products and make their brands known to millions of people. The proof is that many companies rejected on the show ended up becoming hugely successful later on. But it seems that the old saying, any publicity is good publicity, doesn't apply to the so-called Shark Tank effect. This is because while some companies have thrived without receiving an investment, others have seen their complete downfall. But why? Shark Tank is a reality show with 15 seasons that originated in the United States in 2009, becoming one of the main programs involving the business world. The program's concept is simple. Entrepreneurs present their ideas to a select group of investors in a format known as a pitch, hoping to secure financial support and boost their businesses. The investors, called sharks, hence the program's name, are a group of successful magnates in the investment world, such as entrepreneur Mark Cuban, owner of the Dallas Mavericks. According to ABC, the owner of the American Shark Tank, over its seasons, the program accumulates $8 billion in retail sales from businesses that close deals on the show. In addition to the investment itself, entrepreneurs who manage to convince the sharks to enter the business benefit from the vast experience and network of contacts of the investors who now have a direct connection to the business. But the big question is that there is another significant benefit of participating in Shark Tank. And the most curious thing is that the participant doesn't even need to convince one of the sharks to take advantage of it. The Shark Tank Effect The Shark Tank Effect is the increase in sales, customers, and brand demand caused by the simple fact that a company has participated in Shark Tank. This is because even for companies that did not close any deals on the show, mere participation guarantees a national appearance providing an opportunity to promote their venture and pique people's curiosity. In fact, many consider that the national exposure obtained during the program is precisely the most significant benefit that a company gains from participating in Shark Tank, even more than the investments. Moreover, participants often have stories of overcoming obstacles and perseverance in their journey to achieve their dreams. And on Shark Tank, they have the chance to tell these stories and present their product from an angle that traditional advertising does not allow. This helps to create a bond between your business and the viewers who may feel inspired or touched. Of course, not every company has the chance to participate in Shark Tank. As the program's popularity increased, the competition to be selected grew. Along with the necessary screening stages, entrepreneurs have to compete among tens of thousands of other companies to reach Shark Tank and have a chance to make their pitch. But there are many real cases that show all this effort is likely worth it, even if just to appear on TV and ride the Shark Tank effect, as undoubtedly, this can make all the difference between success and failure. Forbes discovered that almost 75% of the deals closed in the first seven seasons of the American Shark Tank were altered or canceled in the following years, meaning many of these ventures likely ceased to be attractive to the sharks, perhaps for not achieving the expected performance. This is considering that the deal was actually finalized, since the American magazine also found that half of the offers made on camera are not completed once the cameras are turned off or that many entrepreneurs here accept our offer or your episode won't even air. Nevertheless, the Shark Tank effect can be the ace in the hole to save those who leave the program disappointed. To prove this, nothing is better than real cases of companies that went through Shark Tank and survived. Like Nopalera, a brand of cosmetic products made from the Mexican Nopal cactus, which went through the program but didn't secure an investment. Entrepreneur Sandra Velasquez even received some offers from the Sharks but felt the offers weren't good and left without closing a deal. But that was enough to capture the public's attention. And 11 days after appearing on Shark Tank, 
Nopalera had already received over 6,000 orders, with $300,000 in sales, the amount the Sharks had offered to pay for 30% of the company. Moreover, just two months later, the company raised $2.7 million in investments. Another idea that was simply ignored was Rocketbook. Founders Jake Epstein and Joe LeMay presented their product to the Sharks in an episode of the program, but no one was impressed except the audience. Rocketbook is a reusable smart notebook. By taking notes in the notebook, you can send them to the cloud, making everything accessible through smartphones and other gadgets. To reuse the notebook, just put it in the microwave to erase all its content and leave it like new. After being dismissed by the Sharks on national television, Rocketbook began to succeed, raised $1.2 million in crowdfunding, and the first model became an Amazon bestseller. Its second model, which uses water to erase notes, raised over $4 million in crowdfunding campaigns. The success was so great that at the end of 2020, Bic bought the entire Rocketbook for $40 million. But perhaps the company rejected by Shark Tank that made the biggest comeback was the giant of smart locks, Ring. This was probably one of the program's biggest mistakes. As in 2013, the CEO of Doorbot was pitching in front of the Sharks. The idea was to sell a smart doorbell that provided video of who was outside your home, increasing home security. None of the Sharks wanted to invest in the business, except Kevin O'Leary, who made an offer so bad it had to be refused. Five years later, Doorbot was called Ring, and it was bought for nothing less than $1 billion by Amazon. The company's CEO admitted that Doorbot was basically bankrupt at the time it appeared on Shark Tank. But even though they didn't close a deal on the program, Jamie Siminoff said it was the most important thing that ever happened to his company. The entrepreneur estimated that the appearance on the program resulted in an additional $5 million in sales for the company. Even before Amazon's purchase, Ring was already so successful that it had attracted investments from names like Richard Branson and Shaquille O'Neal. The fact is that the Shark Tank effect is so powerful that even the participants have noticed it. In an interview with Forbes, Mark Cuban himself said that in recent seasons, the number of entrepreneurs interested only in the advertising generated on the program has grown this is because Shark Tank is very successful there. With an average of 4 million viewers per episode, in addition to having content streamed and on YouTube, often companies participating in Shark Tank report selling in a few days what would normally be equivalent to months, and almost all claim that it is worth participating in the reality, even when there is no investment from the sharks. But of course, not everything is smooth sailing, and the Shark Tank effect is not always able to save some ventures. There are cases where even national exposure and investments from the Sharks cannot guarantee the future of the participating company. During the third season of Shark Tank, one of the pitches that secured a deal was Shono Towels, which manufactured wearable towels in poncho format. Shark Lori Griner decided to invest in the company, but from the start, the relationship between the investor and the brand's founder was turbulent. Shono Towels even closed deals with Disney, but the company's sales weren't so good and the deals were cancelled. In the end, the company went bankrupt amid disputes between the founder and the Shark Tank investor. Another example was Body Jack, a device for exercising that was presented in the first season of Shark Tank. Sharks Kevin Harrington and Barbara Corcoran paid $180,000 for 50% of the business, but once again, the product didn't succeed and the company couldn't stay afloat. But this is related to the fact that even participating in the reality, all these companies need to face the challenges of running a business, and there are numerous variables that make some of them not fit into the market. The good news is that nowadays, it is not strictly necessary to go through Shark Tank to achieve a similar effect, and this has everything to do with the reason behind the Shark Tank effect, advertising. Advertising is nothing new, in fact, it has existed for at least 370 years. It is precisely advertising that makes the Shark Tank effect happen. In the program, those with innovative or creative ideas have the chance to give visibility to their brand, ensuring that, at the very least, people have heard of the company. Moreover, with a well-executed pitch and using techniques like storytelling, 
It is possible to arouse people's curiosity, make them feel connected to the brand, and sometimes even rooting for the business. But there's another thing, not so old, that is also intimately linked to advertising and can generate a similar effect to the Shark Tank effect, social media. Everyone knows that with much easier access to devices like smartphones and computers, the number of people using some form of social media grows every day. This means they are the perfect place for those who want to put their brand in front of everyone, i.e., advertise their business, especially if done by leveraging current topics and trends. This is precisely what viral marketing proposes. Platforms like TikTok and Instagram, when used correctly, can be a great asset to make a brand known. They have become a catalyst for small businesses, a kind of digital shark tank in terms of visibility. Kyle Hines, the creator of Noble Leather, knew exactly how to do this. In 2018, he created the leather goods brand, such as belts and wallets, and decided to start posting videos of the manufacturing process on TikTok. He took advantage of the high demand for ASMR content, a term to describe a sensation of stimulation or satisfaction when hearing certain sounds, and satisfying content, building his videos around it. The initiative worked very well, and each of his videos usually reaches over 1 million views, which naturally increases demand for his products, attracts new customers, and makes his brand increasingly known and valuable. In a survey, the e-commerce platform Shopify found that almost 70% of its users were influenced by TikTok when making online purchases. Considering that TikTok has an active user base of 1 billion people, this gives an idea of the advertising power that this platform provides. All accessible without the need to go through the screenings of a shark tank. It's no wonder that current social media has even provided a kind of evolution of viral marketing. The world of social media is a big shark tank. Of course, the number of participants is also much larger, but the comparison can be made. While on Shark Tank, the selection of who will or will not get a space on television is done through numerous screenings and evaluations. On social media, it is defined by who is the topic of the moment. If your brand can take advantage of the hype, it will achieve a very similar effect to the Shark Tank effect. This is exactly what the concept of fast vertising works on, a new marketing approach that swaps traditional strategies for real-time dynamics. Leveraging viral topics, elements of pop culture, and direct communication to connect with the modern audience. At this point, the use of social media is crucial, as it is the most direct way to see what is trending and launch content that engages the audience. Do you know which business model offers high profit margins, immense scalability, and requires low initial investment? The startup market specializing in software development is the optimal choice to bring together all these advantages. However, the only place where you will truly find a highly scalable service that demands low investment is with Rotomap. Rotomap has global experience providing consulting and developing apps for startups in the United States, Europe and Latin America, making it by far the best option for new entrepreneurs. If you want to venture into the premier market, contact Rotomap right away through the website www.roadmap.co slash home or via email at contact at roadmap.co. Leave a comment below telling your opinion. Also consider leave a like and subscribe for more videos. That's it for this video, a big hug and see you next time.